So this video could have been a lot more professional, but my uh, my tripod failed me, which uh, is not the best thing in the world, you know. And and you see my my camera was right here, and the, 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 I, I was trying to raise this, but then it decides to come right off, land like with the camera on it, land like, boom, and then uh, hits the ground. So I'm a little bit concerned about my camera, but it seems to be okay. But as for this thing, that's the end of that. Okay, so hang on a second. I don't think I've ever done a vlog before, but that's fine. So I have to do this video very unprofessionally, very sorry. But I have to do a little backstory. So today's video is going to be on this weird thing that uh, I got all the way from, I think, the UK. Yeah, sounds right. Anyways, it was a lot of trouble to get here, but this all started with a email sent to me from a guy by the name of Pavel from, I assume, from Colorfab. I don't know if that's right or not. And he was like, hey, you wanna, you wanna try out this Rust Axe? And I was like, interesting. And they were the same guys that made the 3D printed AK that was on the dev blog and all that. And I think this was on the dev blog too, but I didn't check. Anyways, I was a little bit skeptical, because why would somebody send me for free a Rust Axe and not, not asking me to do anything? Um, anyways, I uh, eventually gave him my address. I was a little bit concerned about the address, but I figured out a way that he doesn't actually get my address. And so, here it is. I must say, it's, it's ridiculously light, so I don't think it's a bomb. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Again, I don't have a tripod, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, we've broken in. The b box has been raided. Uh, let's just see here. There we go. Okay, so we've got some wonderful styrofoam. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, we got some more styrofoam. Very exciting. Or not styrofoam. What the heck? Uh, I don't know. And this appears to be something. <laughs> let's see. Okay, I have to resort to very ghetto methods to get a tripod going. I'm very sorry. Oh. Damn, that's pretty cool actually, I gotta say. That is so cool. That is amazing. It that looks incredible. The blade looks super good. Hopefully. No, you can see that. If uh, I think I can keep this thing, I would be tempted to, if it's possible, to open it up and then maybe slide some like weight in there of some sort just to give it a little bit more heft. But I mean, this is really cool. This is amazing. Size-wise, like it's it's massive. Like, here's my foot. Okay, this is a big thing. This is we're not messing around here. I'd say that's actually pretty accurate to the thing in game. Like, uh, you know, that's a huge thing. And and he's ha holding it with two hands. I believe is the animation. I don't remember. Thank you to Pavel for sending this to me. I, I have no doubts that this was probably a little bit expensive to get to Canada from London, UK. And uh, yeah, thanks for going to all the trouble of this. Of course, this was 3D printed by this company and uh, then painted by some professional person. They got the texture very nice on this. You can see, this is, this is a very nice job. They even got on the edges the little bit of that rough rough, uh, you know, used, used look. Like, for plastic, it doesn't look plastic. That's really cool. Alrighty, guys, I'm getting some super cinematic, like, you know, environment shots. So this is it, like, just look at that detail. Oh, they even got that, like, wood grain going on. I don't know how they did that, actually. Like, that looks like a knot. You know what I'm talking about. It looks like a knot there, but that's, that, you know, it's just a piece of plastic. Like, these bolts, it's just awesome. I really love this thing. Here's another beautiful, stunning, phenomenal location. You can see how nice this is. I'm trying to show, I don't know what to show you guys. Just to appreciate how nice it is. Like, you know, 
Like I, I just tweeted this out and someone already said, damn, I want one. And I totally agree. Like, I don't know if this company is willing to make multiples of these. And same with that AK. But uh, like, I would buy one. <laughs> like totally. I, I remember when they showed the AK off, I wanted one, <laughs> but I couldn't get one. So uh, yeah, I really hope the company realizes like maybe a market opportunity because because this thing's awesome it's sweet and I guarantee they would definitely get some sales okay I'm trying to get some light in there but you can see that the well the artificial blade is even goes down the tube a little bit so it's it's very well made I, I'm seriously super impressed I've probably said that a few times now but um, I can't say it enough just really nice job here Once again, thank you very much to Pavel. Without you, I would not have this thing. And thank you for being persistent because I was very skeptical. Anyways, I, I uh, guess I have to leave it off there. I don't think I'll be able to make more videos like this, but uh, hopefully. I mean, I'd love to get more 3D models. Maybe a little bit of backstory, by the way, on the 3D printing of this. So there was a public model made by some guy. I think he was like a Russian fellow or something like that. And then the company, Color Fab, I forget, I think that's it. They 3D printed it. So they weren't the ones that designed it, I believe. I, I could be wrong, but I think that's the case. And then uh, same goes for the AK. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.